connected last week, but anyways, just talk about the uh, touchdown pass. Yeah, uh, they went up 7 nothing, and our coaches are always saying, uh, you know, when they score, we got to answer back. You know, so we drove down the field, executed, and I threw one out to my brother, and he went and got it. Talk about a weird night. Was it hard to get in the rhythm? You have one of your teammates get injured on the final play of the first half. Then you have the lights go out. A weird game. Yeah, that extra halftime, the extra time for the halftime really, I think, threw us off. And then the lights going off also did that because we had a drive going and we had some momentum. And then the lights turned off for about 30 minutes. And that kind of gave both teams a little rest. You know, and that it's definitely a game changer. We're here with uh, Redounder defensive player Amir Career. Uh, first of all, give me some comments on a, on a close game. Uh, obviously, you guys needed to probably do just a little bit more on defense to stop them. Uh, yes, sir. In the game, it was a hard-fought game. Uh, we had a lot of big plays, a lot of big stops. And every now and then, they would just break it for a long uh a long completion or a long run, but it was just a little things that got us. But throughout the game, I think our team fall hard and we'll be able to bounce back. Plus, you knew what happened last year playing them, that yeah. what you were up against. Yeah, you know, we came in with uh, the same game plan, very similar to what we did last week. You know, we wanted to be physical up front, and I thought our guys were more physical against a more physical opponent. Um, you know, we just missed some assignments here and there, and, you know, we got to do a better job. And losses in the preseason, even though this is hard to swallow, um, you know, it, it's a learning curve, you know, and we got a lot of young guys on the offensive line. We're starting two sophomores, um, you know, so. Hopefully they learn and, and get better, and, and we'll see how we respond next week. It's Redondo head coach Matt Ballard. Uh, first of all, coach, uh, let's summarize tonight's game real quick. You lose by three after a you know big win last week. What's the summary you want to hear? You just did it. It was, uh, yeah, I mean. Close game. It was a very close game that I thought was a very winnable game. So it's a frustrating, frustrating loss for sure. So what are you seeing out of your team after two weeks? I mean, uh, you've got a few uh, few weeks with this team now. Um, we'll see really how they respond. I think this will be the biggest um, kind of gut check, character check that we'll have and see how we're going to respond to a tough loss. And, how we, and that'll dictate, I think, our season. I fully expect them to, to take this in and not, not pout about it, but take it as a challenge and move forward. Santa Monica kicks a 29-yard field goal in the waning minutes to uh, win the game. Uh, Fasher did throw a long pass on the very last play of the game into the end zone. It was intercepted. So Redondo's record drops down to 1-1. One and one. Uh, The offense was uh, a little bit quieter in week number two, and uh, they'll resume the uh, action next Friday as they look to improve the record uh, in week number three. This is Jim Lane with the Beach Reporter.